folks, I'd like to give you an update, progress with the 1984 Grady White Seafair. So if you've seen some of my other videos, you'll know that we did a restoration on this boat and aptly named it. Restoration. Look up Psalm 23.3 in the Bible. But I've uh, been enjoying this boat for the last couple of years. I bought it in 2017 and uh, did most of the renovations, restoration, renovations, yeah, it's not a house, it's a boat, uh, through the winter of 2017 and into 2018 and then launched it in June of 2018. But uh, you recall, Loadmaster, uh, aluminum trailer, uh, electric over hydraulic, st stainless steel hardware, disc brakes, uh, torsion axles, came with one set of uprights. I added a second just because it helps with launch. It's a bunk trailer, obviously. Thing I did this year is I added new uh, wheels and also I added Goodyear uh, endurance radial tires, a little bit heavier duty than what was on there. I just uh, planning to do a little more tow and maybe longer distances. For 1984 boat, not too bad. Got a decent shine on the haul. It was fairly well chalked out. Pulled all the windows, reglazed those, reset them. Built the anchor pulpit, 17 pound stainless anchor. Added the Muddy Creek tackle, planer board reel system and mast. And you can actually see, this actually uh, will lay down against the hard top into that holder for transport. New lights, new stripes, pulled the striping off of it, logo, the name, ordered new final graphics. Got the Muddy Creek Tackle uh, track system with the rod holders, Walker electric downriggers, I purchased those used. A&J Marine aluminum swim platform and flotation bracket. I oversized that design so that it had a little more flotation. New scuppers, new trim tabs. You can see my uh, transducer down there through haul. <clears throat> Recall this was a cutout transom. We filled the transom in, redid the transom. It was wet. Uh, build a mold, made a new gunnel cap, build a nice filler piece for the rub rail. Mercury Verado 300, super smooth, silky, amazing punch. 48 to 50 top end, 28 to 32, loaded up, Rev 4 prop, 2.73, 2.74 miles per gallon at cruise. This year I added a fish hawk. There we get some chickens, there you go. Uh, this gives me temperature and speed at the surface and I have a probe that clips in on my downrigger cable and it gives me t speed and temperature uh, wherever I've got the downrigger set to. I added some more tulips to the rocket launcher system on the hard top. Uh, new antenna, new electronics, new wiring. I added these uh, tulips to the sides as well. Worked with a local machine shop. He fabricated me some clamp-ons. I use those for the nets primarily. Troll on Lake Erie, so typically I have a couple nets with us. Oh. I added the Lumitex, nice LED lighting for the cockpit. Not bad for a 1984 model. One of the things I'm looking to do is to actually remove the windshield and the sides and purchase a new one that is angled up higher so the windshield frame is out of my line of sight and provides a little more protection when you're running and uh, 
you know, Lake Erie is kind of a little bit sporty from time to time. Get a real tight chop on it. You get a little bit of spray with the wind. I mean, there's a nice flare on this boat. It does do a great job of knocking the waves down and blowing it away from you, but it happens. Redid all the through hauls, all new hoses, fuel tank, fuel line. Look at the size of this cockpit. This is a 22 foot boat and I'll tell you what, you'd be hard pressed to find something with this much room. I've run four or five guys, six guys even on this boat. I run a cool, I put a cooler in there and we troll 10 rods and nobody's tripping over anybody. Just a ton of boat for a 22 footer. Let's get inside. All right, here you can see there used to be a fuel tank back here. We took and turned that into a hatch. Um, you can see we built uh, cabinets in the back, nice little trough uh, shelf there for putting lures and whatnot. Look at all that room. You can really fish out of this boat. Put new foot combing pads. There's my dipsy diver holder that I made. Got my power steering back in that corner. Got my uh, charging system over there. This opens up, nice little cabinet. Protects everything behind there. As I said, you've got this little trough. Makes it nice. Over on this side, I've got a mount that I built for my swim platform ladder. Down here, Got our bilge pump, got our uh, wash down pump, it's actually up underneath there, and then I've got my live well pump. Something I just added this winter, wanted to have a little live well. So I took this compartment, it's not huge, but gives me just a little bit of room. Batteries located here, nice big storage compartment, build a shelf. Get the batteries up. Hold on one second. New tow rail, tow kick. Put all new uh, access hatches, new speakers, new LED lighting. Just polish, you know, put some uh, seal on here so it doesn't slam down. So. It doesn't, you know, it's not the uh, fiberglass on fiberglass. Yeah, and the nice deep hold down in here. I put my bumpers down there and also my planer boards. Deck's nice and solid. My father fabricated these out of aluminum. So we've got our tackle storage on either side. And then we mounted our new helm chairs, new carpet, new shelves, Satakusa board, all new trim work, took the door off, painted it, new partition, I wanted to go with something that wasn't just white, I liked having a little bit of contrast, new helm station, steering wheel, binnacle, uh, new wire marine, switch panel, this is my fish hawk. A Mercury Verado uh, vessel view, new compass, Garmin. Just added a fan, new radio, new light. Let's take a quick peek down here. Cabin's pretty much what it, the way it was. I cleaned it up a bit. Um, carpet still, eh? I give it a C rating. I kind of glued some of it back up. But also, hold on one second. New uh, 12 volt DC circuit breaker panel. So I rewired the entire boat. Uh, marine grade wiring, sized it appropriately, used the colors that you need for the different uh, 
circuits so you know purple and blue and you know brown and yellow things of that nature kids like this area you know they can get out of the sun typically I'm storing a bunch of stuff in it got to do a little cleanup work on that right there I've got a step that goes back in that area it's nice the the seats actually swivel and uh, this one will go back and forth depending on whether you want to sit down or stand lots of room I mean you look at this it's pretty pretty easy to work around this uh, swim platform what I do is I rotate a downrigger out to the side so it's like that then I've got I lay these rod holders out uh, I've got my dipsy rod out there so I've got you know a big swath of area that I can net a fish on that side and same on that side scupper wells so I don't have any problems with water coming into the boat the boat sits with the scuppers high out of the water uh, but you know if four guys walk to the back of this boat and go to that corner yeah water starts to come in there so I give myself a couple inches before it actually rolls into the deck you may recall with the cutout transom there was a splash guard uh, that was there that would lay down and the floor actually stepped down and when I redid this, if you look at some of my other videos, I actually filled in that gap, made this one continuous floor. Um, so you don't have to go down a step and twist your ankle or anything like that. Worked out really well. Really love this Verado. I can't tell you how quiet it is. And just, if you're bopping along about 24 miles an hour and you punch it, you better be holding on. So you can kind of see, this is my line of sight, so this rail is just right in my line of sight. So I've been playing around with bringing that up to, you know, an area where it's actually out of my, you know, the, the uh, windshield would extend to where it's up into there. And Provide a little more protection and also keep me from having to look through the uh, top rail. Got this nice fan. This is a marine fan. It's uh, rated for outdoor use. It's very difficult to find those. It's, I think $100 or something like that. Very happy with the Garmin. Oh, here's the actual. Actually, this is Kaizen foam, and what I did was I made a cutout for my uh, probe that goes on my downrigger so that's this you know wheel that's sensing speed down and it also has temperature so that just gets stored in there and protected I've got the uh, canvas for the enclosure Actually cleaned that up. It was in the garage, so I got that hanging out drying. Rolls up out of the way nicely. It's all new wiring, all new fuel. It's basically a new boat. Always got little things I can work on. So like this winter, there were rod holders located here. So I took and removed them, and I'm starting to fill that in with uh, gel coat. Just to, you know, sand that down, get that all matched in. Got that stuck on there, so. Just a great, great 22 footer. Toes easily. Um, I can launch this boat single-handedly, I can load it single-handedly, especially having the two uprights now, guide on the guides, and uh, 
you can just see it's just got a lot of room. I mean, you look at that. It's a huge distance. I was very fortunate to find a boat that had a hard top on it. So I just pulled it out of the garage and figured I'd take some video, give some updates. Got to give it a scrub down. I spent some time this winter, you can actually see in my bag here, I got all the polishing compound all over the boat. But uh, put start, start putting stuff away and cleaning it, hose it out, get it ready to go. Really love this seafarer. Just can't tell you how tickled I am with it. I know she's old, very seaworthy, very reliable. I really appreciate you watching my videos. Hopefully, you check out some of the the work that was done to get it to this point because it was a it was almost a different boat back then, 2017, and. Uh, my dad and I really had a good time. Well, sometimes when you're grinding fiberglass, it wasn't great, but it was a great project to work on with my father, and we just really enjoy being out on this thing, and it's a blessing to me and my family, for sure. Especially, you know, being out there with my dad and my grandfather and my son. It's just a great time. Thanks for watching.